actually, now you can see me. Uh, my name is Dan Tartag, Tar uh, D Tartag one, and tonight uh, I know we skipped yesterday just because uh, Jerry was working until 9 p.m. his time. Uh, so tonight we're actually going to be uh, doing uh, our Hollow Theater. So tonight we have Jerry. Uh, he's going to be playing uh, Bob uh, Gornall. Um, in the Jawa Cup, Jerry is going to be going for two. Uh, he's going to look to go to two and zero. Oh. Uh, he actually put uh, Bob. I'm I'm going to refer to him as Bob now. On uh, I want to say it was Yavin four or EBO. Well, it looks like Jerry just guessed wrong. Uh, Bob decided to play Profit. So we have an interesting match tonight. It's going to be IE versus Profit. Uh, doesn't look like uh, Gornell or Bob gets doesn't. He's not going to be starting any. He doesn't have any uh, aliens because he's playing IE. Or no, Jerry doesn't get any aliens because he's playing IE. So, uh, looks like Bob might be uh, able just to walk into the audience chamber and uh, have some fun. So, we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, Jerry starts off with grabbing the uh, flagship. Uh, got some of the earlier pulls, some shield plays, all the fun stuff. Uh, thanks to everybody who's tuning in tonight. Uh going to be watching this uh, this match. So, they started a uh, little spur of the moment type of thing, but Jerry, if you're not familiar with the decks, IE is basically a more of an Imperial type of a deck. Uh, you just go on to Tatooine, you do a lot of fun stuff. You flip basically by controlling three Tatooine sites and the opponent controls less than three sites. Um, here, well, hold on. Um, here, one second. One of my roommates and I, we just ordered pizza. Didn't figure that it would be this early. Normally around here, where I live, the pizza takes forever. So again, back to IE. So Jerry cannot force train at the titling system. He can't play occupation until after he slipped. Once he flips, he can do all, do all sorts of shenanigans. He'll be able to pull some battlegrounds. He'll get to look at the top card, or he'll get to look at cards in his uh, reserve deck. And then it, his opponents require movement and plus one. So, and he can retrieve uh, troopers. I mean, IE is more of a, uh, it, it's an interesting deck. I know it's more of a uh, uh, Tom Kelly type of a deck. So, I find it interesting that Jerry decided to go with this route. He d is, he does get the, flat, the executed docking bay out. He gets Piet to it. And it looks like he's got Ozzel down as well. Oh, interesting. So he goes with the more traditional ROP setup, where uh, gets Commander Dasani out. So he didn't have to use Piet to grab Dasani, so that's good. <laughs> Mike Turner talking in the chat saying that he was hoping that Jerry would play IE, but there's no bow to the first order, so Jerry's not going to win. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, can you bring me a fork as well? Thank you. Uh, decided to get Pizza Hut tonight. Essentially, my it's our Friday, so uh, Jerry does go out and use PS Game Tech. He grabs battle deployments. So now he can start deploying uh, walkers and other combat vehicles from his reserve deck. So Jerry's getting his setup. It's pretty good. Oh, there's the decree. So once Jerry occupies some battle or some battlegrounds, he'll be able to he'll uh, he can actually reduce some of that ping damage that Prophet likes to do. Won't be surprised if Jerry doesn't use uh, his one of his uh, shield pullers to go out and get the aim high. Probably going to see that because Prophet can retrieve five pretty early in the game. Especially with Jerry not uh, being down at the audience chamber. <laughs> I, 
Mike Turner, if he was playing in Bow, that would be funny. I told him to play the other deck he wanted to play. I think that would have been a lot of fun. I don't know if he told told you about it, but he told me, and I was just like, play the fun deck. IE is going to be boring. Okay, so Bob's going to go out and play the new uh, reserve, res Rendezvous Point on Tatooine. So Rendezvous Point just came out in the last set, so you can use it as a loss interrupt to deploy a Tatooine Battleground. So you can go out and get like your system, you can go out and get any of the Tatooine sites. I've seen people use it to go out and get the, uh, the city outskirts, so you can start deploying Jedis. It looks like we're going to see that with... Uh, he's playing... Uh, Jedi business as one of his starting effects, but more as a starting interrupt, you can uh, if you deploy any Jabba's Palace sites, you can deploy seek seeking the audience and two effects that are not immune to an alter. So it's kind of like a, a, a different variant on the on heading, but it works the same way in that it gives you the three effects. So his inter his effects were, I must be allowed to speak, seeking an audience, and Jedi business. And he did go out and get the city outskirts, so we could see a Jedi uh, coming down as well. Uh, maybe a Qui-Gon, maybe a, uh, an Obi-Wan, maybe Mace, uh, something like that. Okay, and he gets the moisture farm as well. So both players getting some early activation. Yeah, I, I don't like, I, I'm not a big fan of Profit just because of that issue. Uh, I don't like the space package in Profit, especially against like all the dark side with the, with the, the Emperor shuttles and the, the Mars, and Mars ship. So I, I don't think the system's the right call. I think it's still you want to stick to grounds mostly. I, I I agree with you. The anti chamber is pretty good. It's a good two one site and their drain is minus one there. Um, City outskirts is good just because you can get Jedi out. But again, it's a drain of two there. So we'll see. Okay, and he's going to use Jedi business to go out and get the Coruscant nightclub. That's interesting. So it's a two two site. Uh, that was one of our old. Uh, cards that we had as a legacy card that actually people liked uh, uh, that played in the Coruscant CRV deck for light side it also played in the old Jedi objective that we had uh, so all the characters are defense value minus one and they cannot be excluded from battle so no, so barrier does work they can't battle but if they battle with somebody else it, it gets kind of tricky I, I'm interested in that the fact that he plays that, especially, I mean, I've seen, okay, so he's going to attempt to review, revert, so let's see if Jerry's going to allow that, Jerry's being the nice guy that he is, allow the revert. Yeah, there's a lot of battlegrounds, I, th I think it's, I think playing the, the nightclub is good for Bob, because if Jerry plays a lot of the, the walkers, no walkers can go there, obviously, whereas Bob can throw down a Jedi or somebody with a lightsaber and start draining for three, maybe, well, at least two. And, I mean, so there's a lot of battlegrounds. Both players are generating a lot of force, and being that Jerry's playing IE, I mean, we're going to see a lot of Tatooine locations out there, so both players will have a lot of places to go down and fight. Uh, Bob still has six cards left in his force pile, so we'll see what he's got. So we won't see any Jedi Lukes, we won't see any any of the Luke Jedis, so... Okay, so it's thrown down 3PO with his parts showing. So I've seen a lot of people use 3PO with his parts showing and then throwing him under a gift. So that way you can mess with aliens. But being that Jerry is playing IE, being it's a all uh, Imperial deck, uh, a gift won't be helpful here. I mean, it would start with like Mara, but... Okay, and let's see. He's got... So he does have Han underneath. So Han is 
Um, oh, so, something that's going to help with profit uh, says that the only way to your your force retrieval is immune to secret plans. So it's not immune to come here, uh, coward. So if he doesn't occupy the two battlegrounds, coward still would affect the the retrieval, but secret plans won't cause it to stop. So you don't have to actually Jerry not playing secret plans is smart. Um, the other thing that is important is if he's armed with the blaster, his defense value is plus two, so he's a five, and he's immune to whatever his power. So he's currently immune to four. Yeah, so it looks like he's just drew up, a few, after deploying 3PO, he just drew up a few cards. He's got 11 cards in his hand. And he's going to put a card back with 3PO. Jerry activates 16. He's got seven. He's got 9 cards in his hand. So we'll see what Jerry's going to do this turn. I'm going to guess he's either going to get a docking bay to move to Sonny and Piet, or he's going to throw out the, uh, the flagship out. So that way those two those two Imperials can go over to get off the, uh, the docking bay. Okay, so he is looking for a docking bay. Okay, so he's got the Moss Espa docking bay. So he could get the Imperials over to the docking bay and then start trying to try for a flip or something. Okay, he's going to go out and get another docking bay or another Tatooine battleground. And he's going to convert the farm. So. Bob loses a 2-1 site, and now it's a 1-1. One, one. And the other thing is, each of Jerry's weapons destinies are plus 1, but more importantly, if he controls, it's a force frame plus 1. So it's it would be now, instead of being a drain of 1, where it's a possibility of like a drain of 2 if Vader or a trooper are there, or a drain of 3 where if both are there, now it's just a straight drain of 2. So that's pretty good. Jerry uses Blizzard 4 to go get Veers. And he threw out the Blizzard 4 from his hand, so he could still use he could still use the battle deployment to get another walker out, put the uh, put Veers on the walker. And he could go for a flip right now. And it looks like that's what he's going to do because he so he got he has Tempest one out so if he we'll see we're pro probably going to see him move Veers off Blizzard four obviously move over to Bl the Tempest one so be immune to attrition less than six and he'll draw two Destiny and we might see Piet and Dasani come over and then move the Blizzard four over to with those guys so pretty good turn for Jerry. I mean, the Tempest one could also move as well. Move over to the Lars Moisture Farm. But either way, it's still... I think Jerry's going to be able to get a drain of two in. And there's, there's the flip, though. He's got the Blizzard Scout one. So that's really good because now he can react and... He can actually cancel the game text of anybody that because if the Blitzer Scouts with an AT, a, a, or ATAT, he can cancel a game text. So I mean that stops Chewie from firing his bowcaster. That stops like immunity to attrition. That stops a, a lot of good stuff. Okay, Beers gets off Blizzard one, Blizzard four. Let's see where is where is Veers gonna go? And Veers, Veers is going to walk over. So, I mean, theoretically, Jerry could just keep the Imperials over on the Executor Docking Bay. Uh, he's getting more force from that with the the mob points. But he's not. He's just, he is going to move them over for free.
He doesn't have the Tatooine occupation yet, so... Uh, but he is essentially doing a lot of ping damage right now, though, so that's pretty good. And he's just gonna... Probably gonna save the, at least one in his force pile after he ends his turn and keeps the upkeep for Blizzard 4. And Bob uses the new quite a mercenary V to get a reflection to Chewy or mercenary armor. So probably the reflections to Chewy. So reflections to Chewy. Or, yeah, he's going to get the Chewy Protector. Chewy Protector is from reflections too. So he can cancel the game text of anything that's power less than four or any character that's less than four. And he deploys minus three to any site where Leia is. So, see a lot of that card in a pro in profit, just because you want to get the you get Leia out pretty early, and then Chewie comes down really free. You can search out your use piles with uh, "I must be allowed to speak." So, not a bad card, especially for two force. And Bob plays rescuing the clown as he grabs a card out of the top three off of his reserve deck. And so there's the upkeep for Blizzard 4. So we got Asane, Piet's on the Blizzard Scout Walker. Blizzard 4 is over at the Moisture Farm, and Tempest 1 with Veers on it is at the Palace site. So pretty good turn for Jerry, being that he was able to flip. And he, he did get a lot of his walkers out, so... Maybe Bob has uh, under attack or something to contest with those walkers, or they're going to be able to sit there and just do a lot of damage. And I th I'm not a bit... So I, I agree with Mike being that... Yeah, that's one thing. He should have got the, the... the If the desert was closer to, to Jabba's Palace, I think that would have hurt Bob a lot more. Uh, the other thing is... Being that the Jedi outskirts is three sites away, that's, that's not really good for... Bob, if he puts a Jedi there, he's got to essentially go three sides over, like take three turns to get a Jedi over to the audience chamber, and he's got to go through the that that just barrage of walkers. So Bob throws out the Jedi council chamber, so they're both activating seventeen. Um, I don't know, like I I, I don't like deploying the. I, I know it gives you three icons, but the Jedi council chamber at this point, I'm not a big fan of it simply because the nightclub's there I mean that gives them an easy way to just deploy to a site and then walk over and, and start draining for three so we'll see what happens so Bob throws down Owen Baruz who they drop down for free it's at the large moisture farm um, unfortunately for them though it's the dark side version the, the version that shows them what happens when they mess with Imperials So I'm guessing that Bob has something else to throw down, or else he wouldn't have thrown down the Owen and Bruce in front of the Blizzard 4. Uh, so he does have Leia Organa V, and we did, like you said, we did see them pull the Chewy. So the Chewy, I, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm not, I don't recall if the character has to be present with Chewy, but he might be able to cancel Veers' game text, which would actually be really good for Bob. So. And Leia is going to get her Destiny 2 power or attrition. Probably going to be the attrition because it's only a Destiny or immunity to 6. So, But first things first, he's going to grab a card out of his use pile with Leia. Oh, no, that's, I mean, Mike, yeah, they, they still go to free for, to the, uh, the large moisture farm. I'm not saying it was the site, it was their game text. That's why you'd have to pay two with the uh, golden rod that's on the table. And there's Chewy for two. Chewy will now also grab a card out of the use pile. And while he's doing that, so once per turn, may target an opponent's character at the same site who has power less than three and cancel the target's game text for the remainder turn. That's not good for beers.
But at the same time, if he waits until he battles, the Blizzard Walker can come over. And probably, uh, I can see the Blizzard Scout Walker coming over and canceling Leia's game text, so he won't have the the Destiny to Attrition. So we'll see if that happens. But first things first, Joey go is going to cancel Veers' game text, so Jerry's only going to get one Destiny there right now. Currently four players watching right now, including my, or four players in the, the game room right now. Okay. So again, I want to thank everybody who decided to watch tonight, being that it is Thursday, not our normal viewing hours. Uh, we're doing this, I'm doing this instead of watching uh, Thursday Night Football. I know the Steelers are playing. Playing, I mean, that's that's putting it nicely because, I mean, last time I checked, they were down 14 nothing at halftime, so. <laughs> uh, Jerry just messaged me on Slack saying that he would kill his own mother for a trample right now. So, Jerry doesn't have the trample in those six cards he's got in his hand. And, unfortunately, he's got the wrong walker out because if he had Blizzard Scout or Blizzard two out he could pull it during his uh, control phase but that's tempest one instead of blizzard two and so if bob is looking at flipping so he would have to control more Tidewing sites than his uh, than Jerry, so all he would have to do is throw down another uh, guy to. He would have to throw a guy down to Moses uh, docking bay, and then possibly go to the the audience chamber, and then he would actually flip Jerry back. Uh, so he throws down relatively unprotected, relatively unprotected. It's a Destiny 7 card, but it actually, it does more than just has a Destiny 7. So the right now, in, the, in this instance, it deploy on a Star Destroyer vehicle, it, the vehicle's immunity to attrition is less than 4, and it may not react. So that Blizzard Scout 1 is staying there. Interesting. So... It's not looking good for Jerry. I mean, Veers has no... He doesn't add to the power, so it's only the power of six from the walker. He doesn't get the two destiny, and it's only immune to attrition four. So I think Veers is probably going to go into the lost pile here. But, I mean, Bob will end up losing at least one of his characters. Probably, I'm going to say, I think... Chewy is a little bit more valuable just because he can ca start canceling Imperial's game text. And but I mean Leia does add uh Leia does add to a destiny to power or attrition. So I, I think Bob does have a tough decision. I think if I were Bob, I would I'd still battle just to get rid of the, at least the Veers, because Veers is really powerful. Oh, okay. So he throws down Master Qui-Gon. Master Qui-Gon comes down for six, not five, if he would go down to an Episode One site. But now he can actually search for a Saber with the Jedi business. So... And he plays Draw Their Fire. So, Jer so we'll see. we're going to see some retrieval here. Jerry playing secret planes in response as well. Uh, not only are we going to see some retrieval, but we're also going to see some. Uh, so Jerry would have to pay one to play any interrupt during the battle. So he'd have to pay one with to play Imperial Command or any of the other Imper uh, interrupts that he's got. Im Imperial Command being the big one, because then he could actually add a destiny with Veers. So we're going to see a battle first at the Lars Moisture Farm, so Bob gets to retrieve that rendezvous point. Jerry will have to lose a card. Bob is down in power, but both players do get to draw Destiny, so I think I think Bob just wants to get Jerry off of 
some of the sites. Oh, and there's a big card going to the Lost Pile. There goes the Tatooine Occupation for Jerry. Uh, that card would actually come in handy a lot for Jerry because then he can start doing a lot of ping damage. Yeah, uh, Jerry is uh, shield busting. So, Bob draws a 5 for Destiny, draws nicely the Old Republic. Good card to pull out lightsabers uh, and other things. Jerry draws a 4, the Stormtrooper Garrison. So, Jerry wins overall, but both the vehicle and the character are going to be lost, and there's going to be no overflow in the battle with the, the Owen and Bruce. So, good battle for Bob, bad battle for Jerry. So, Luke, if Luke was on the table, he would be power plus six, but he is not. Yeah. So, it doesn't look like Bob decided to retrieve. So, yeah, he... Yeah, so Bob didn't retrieve. So, he didn't pay the one. Oh, that's right, because... Um, no, he actually could have retrieved there because Coward was not in effect because he he did occupy the two battlegrounds. So he can't retrieve in this battle, though. Jerry's going to play... I uh, Jerry loses. I can't shake him from his hand. I wonder why he didn't lose that in the first one and just... Oh, okay. So we have a Jedi Presence. Jedi Presence will double the power of all the rebels in the battle. So... The fact that Qui-Gon is sitting there with Leia and Chewie, uh, they're doubled power, so... Wow. Now, Bob is sitting at 24, Jerry's sitting at 7, and he's going to add 1 to Destiny. Or, he, he adds 1 to the power, so... Bob's going to be has a lot of power right now. That Qui-Gon is doing work. and he, But he draws a 1 for battle... Or, or that's the 1 for the total power, so... He's only got a power 25, and well, we're going to see what he draws for Battle Destiny. Sorry, I got ahead of myself there. And he draws a 4 for Battle Destiny, so that will crack the immunity to the Tempest 1. And see what Jerry draws for his Battle Destiny. Jerry draws a 5. He draws the Code Clearance. So, not a bad Destiny draw from Jerry, but unfortunately, he still has to lose 17, well, 17 cards, or 17 forfeit, or a combination of the two. Whereas, Bob only has to lose 5. I still think Bob, yeah, Bob's going to lose the Chewie. And Jerry loses first General Veers, and he's going to lose the, the Walker, and then there's going to be some overflow. There's gonna, Wow, 6 card overflow. So Jerry's, I think Jerry's going to actually flip back here because, okay, so Jerry loses the Code Clearance Flagship, Mate, Tempest Scout 3, and Tar Tarkin and an Imp Command. So he loses the Flagship from the, his hand and then the rest are from his Reserve deck. So, but I think importantly here, once Bob moves either Qui-Gon or Leia into the Audience Chamber, that's going to flip uh, Jerry back, because all Bob has to do is control more Tatooine locations or sites than uh, Jerry. So he pays the two, and he flips Jerry back. So I think Bob forgot about the pay, uh, having to pay two. So Leia is stuck there by herself. And he... So Bob does... Uh, release Han, and he's going to retrieve five, and those five cards now, he doesn't have to pay anything because it's immune to secret plans. Wow, that's a that was a big turn of events for Bob. I mean, Bob just came in there, he, he dropped everything down that he needed to, and just blew Jerry out, out in one turn. So Jerry's flipped, so he can't drain his space. Uh, yeah, Bob did forget uh, about the fact that, like, uh, his land speed is, uh, he has to pay an extra force to move any characters while Jerry's flipped. So, Leia's stuck there. So, maybe we'll see something come down and uh, go against her. 
Uh oh. Bob's trying to revert. I. Th He's saying that he thinks he had to occupy. Okay, so let's see what Jerry's going to say about this here because I, I think this is important. That would I I Jerry would still be flipped if he lets this go back. Bob wouldn't retrieve, and Jerry could do some ping damage, uh, draining for one in space and one on the ground. So let's see what he's going to let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, no response from Jerry yet. I think Jerry's deciding on if he's going to be... Okay, Jerry's going to decline. Yeah, Bob's pretty ahead at this point, and... I'm, I'm not going to comment. This I think it's up to the players. Um, and... I, I will say personally, I think within the Jawa games, uh, the Jawa Cups in any tournament myself, I would, I'm going to start asking if reverts should be allowed or not. I, so, but I think I definitely think Jerry was in his right to decline. So, Bob loses. So Jerry is going to drain for two. He loses. Bob loses. Speak from the Jedi Council. From his use pile. I believe that was the card that he puts that he put that down with three PO. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Mike. Um that's I mean, that, it comes down to not knowing your opponent's cards, and yeah, like I said, I think I'm Jerry was definitely in the right saying that he didn't have to uh, allow it. So Jerry's coming down with so he comes, he drops down Kirkanos and then he comes down with Mara Jade with her lightsaber. So Jerry is going to attack that lone Leia. Colonel Wolf comes down onto the Devastator. Don't think Jerry needs to devote most of it, a lot of forces down onto the Devastator just to keep it there. But so Jerry's going to initiate. Jerry is able to retrieve one. Bob now has to lose one to his own card. Bob loses a Master Qui Gon from his reserve deck, so he added one on top. Jerry swings. Mara draws a four, so Leia will be hit here. She's only defense value three. And it's two. So again, Leia is going to be hit, forfeit zero, but again, both players get to draw destiny, so we're going to see both go to the Lost Pal here. Let's see what Destiny Jerry draws. First, Bob's going to play aim high. Jerry draws a four, so he's got nine in power. So, unless Bob draws a six, there's going to be a little bit of overflow. <laughs> And he does draw the six, though. So there's no overflow. And we do now know that Bob does play the under attack. Okay. So Jerry is still on the zero side. Bob is still on the one seven side. And we see the Basane move. 
So Jerry's going to lose at least one to the ping damage from the seven side of profit. And Jerry's just going to, looks like he's just going to draw up a bunch of cards so that way he can uh, have some stuff to work with next turn. So again, Jerry's only going to at least lose one card this on Bob's turn this turn. Uh, I don't think Bob's going to, well, Bob's actually going to get a drain up for free. So Jerry's actually going to lose two cards this, at least during the control phase. So there goes a Watto's Junkyard. Let's see Bob taking his time, thinking about what he wants to do. So he's going to skip the drain. Interesting. I think Bob thinks that there's a battle order on the table. And he's going to use the game text of the city outskirts to get Mace Windu. So this doesn't look good for Jerry. So Mace Windu is like Maul in the fact that he can swing twice. He's going to have... Mun he's going to have... Full immunity with the Jedi business because Anakin and Vader aren't there. And if the lightsaber's there, this is not going to look good for, for uh, Jerry. I mean, because both the... Imper so, he uses... He gets he does get an episode one lightsaber, but it is the Qui-Gon's lightsaber. So, there's no lightsaber for Mace unless he's got it in the hand. Maybe he's going to have, like, a, if he has, like, a Luke or a Lando... Nope, he's got a ray. He does have ray, so he uses four force to put her down, and he's gonna get a use pile search, so he is looking for that lightsaber. Okay, so he's still t still deciding on what card he wants to take. So maybe he didn't find the lightsaber in his use pile. Maybe it's one of the seven cards he's got in his force pile. Sorry, I just got to pop my top. And he gets Anakin's lightsaber. Anakin's lightsaber V. So that's an episode one and an episode seven. So at least Ray's going to be able to uh, swing at somebody. So it looks like the Ooh, this is not good for Jerry. Clash of Saber comes out right before the battle. So Kier cannot use his game text because he has to be in a battle to cancel it. So Kier is gonna be outside of this battle. The Sonny is gonna be alone against the Ray and the Mace. The Blizzard Scout Walker cannot cannot uh, react. So I really hope Jerry's got a gig here. <laughs> nope, Jerry just says uh, he did not have he doesn't have the gig, so that's game. Uh, wow. So Jerry does concede over to Bob. Uh, so uh, so it looks like uh, both commentators and both uh, Jerry and I are a big fat O and two when it comes to playing live games. So hopefully we'll try and redeem ourselves next week. I don't know if it's going to be Jerry or myself, or maybe we'll just have a regular show. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Jerry. Uh, both players are talking over the fact that uh, the game itself. So I'm gonna sign off for the night. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, Seeing a little bit different of a deck, uh, we don't, normally don't see these type of decks in uh, the main play just because they're they're not like uh, an OA or a Rops or 
TRM. So hopefully everybody saw something new with the IE and the Profit. So uh, stay tuned. Check on GEMP. See, uh, watch some uh, Jawa Cup. Seeing a little bit different on the deck styles. Uh, until next week, I'm Dan. Uh, Jerry was playing. So good night, everybody, and uh, enjoy your weekend.